Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about the books I want to read in 2023. Hey now, take a so I have a stack of books here of books I want to read in 2023 but it won't really be a video of when I get to these books. These are just definite books I want to get to. So let's get into it. The first one I have here is Frankenstein by Marie Shelley. I actually have read quite a bit of this book already and I really liked this book except it is a classic and I don't connect with classics very easily so it was a hard read. It is a hard read and I put it down because I was reading like one page a day and I think I'm gonna pick this back up probably in October because I do want to read this book. Everyone references it and I just want to see what happens. Like I I stopped when he went to college or university and I want to know how he becomes Frankenstein. Um, it's definitely not what I thought it was going to be and how it started was so interesting so I'm excited to continue this book in 2023. The next book is a book I've actually already read. So I want to finish the uh, the Dark Fever series. I have um, all the way up there I have like all the I think I have four books of the series and instead of just jumping back in I want to basically reread all of it because it's been like it's been since 2019 2018 since I've read this series and I feel like if I hop back into it I'm not going to be able to follow I'm not going to be able to kind of have that passion that I did I'm not going to understand what's going on and I'm going to miss certain things that should be important so I am going to be restarting the series I'm super excited I think I'll start this again in the fall probably in August or July I could see this being my beach book I'm super excited but this book is basically about a girl who um sister is murdered in Ireland so it, I'm sorry if you hear anything my dog is walking around back here and she's just getting into everything but it's about a girl who travels to Ireland to solve the murder of her sister and it's all about magic and just it's almost whimsical but it's like cold and dreary how it is in Ireland and since I have been to Ireland I actually miss it and it definitely gives you all the Ireland feels in this novel so I'm excited to reread it and that's a series I'm going to be picking up in 2023. The next book I want to finish is The Wish Song of Shannara. If you guys have been following my channel for a little bit I finished the elf stones of Shannara a couple years ago uh new year's I read it over like new year's eve and new year's day so good highly recommend it and that made me pick up the wish song of Shannara and it picks up a few years after the first book or I think I think that's the first book I think there's a couple like prequels so it's like in the middle it's like reading the lord of the rings before you read the hobbit it's not the beginning but it's the beginning anyway um, I want to finish it. It's a really good classic novel. I had started it. Again, I just kind of stopped in the middle of it. So I might restart this book. I might just go from where I left off, etc. I kind of remember this really well. I started it at the beginning of last year. So technically 2022. But I don't know when this is going to go up. So it might be in 2023. So it's last year. Anyway, I started this pretty recently within the last year. <laughs> and I want to go back to it. So definitely on my TBR. The next book I'm so excited for, I am so excited for, and I might be getting this information incorrect, so please forgive me, but in 2019, 2018, I took a fantasy class. So I went to a local college in my area and I took a fantasy novel class and all about classic sword and fantasy. And I learned a lot about the books that are considered classic, like Sword and Sorcery. And one of those books is Alaric of Melbourne. And I only got like, we were only given like the first chapter. We weren't given the entire book to read. We just needed like a little tidbit to kind of see the verbiage that was used. Kind of, I guess, 
just to get a little taste of the fantasy because this book is a series and it's huge. But Barnes and Noble or whoever publishes this book came out with new editions of this series. I don't know if they were in publication when I took the class. Um, we actually got an ebook um, free from my um, instructor. So I, when I heard that there was a new hardcover edition, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It has a map. I'm just so excited for this book. So this is actually one I think I'm gonna, ooh, the pages are like Bible pages. I'm really excited. I'm excited because this is a like classic novel. I feel like it's a staple in anyone's collection who loves fantasy and I feel like I'm actually in the mood for this fantasy. When I first like read it, I really wasn't into reading fantasy, especially from a male point of view, but I feel like I've gotten past that and I am so excited to read this book. If um, you want to read it with me, I'll let you guys know like when I start the book, but I think it might be my January read. I'm so excited. Okay, I need to stop saying that, but um, that's on my TBR and it's one of my most anticipated reads of 2023. The next books I have for you guys are all going to be ebooks that I have on my Kindle. So pardon me if I don't have the actual physical book with me, but I will pop up a picture. So the first book is Fairy Tale by Stephen King. So going off of the fantasy kind of genre again, I actually have never read a Stephen King novel and I thought what better way to start a King Stephen King kick, I guess, like see what he, I don't like his uh, horror. I, I won't watch his movies. Um, but I thought it would be, since he's writing a fantasy fairy tale, I thought that was very on brand for me. And so I picked that up on my Kindle and I'll be reading that probably maybe in April, maybe in the fall. I don't really know, but that's one of the ones I want to start. The next book is going to be finishing the Mistborn series. So Mistborn, the book three, I don't know the title of it off the top of my head. But you guys, if you are a follower of me, you know how much I love that series and I want to get back into it. So I'm planning on finishing that series this year. Next one, I actually don't, I actually um, have a physical copy. Let me get that. So the next book is Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I recently read the audiobook or listened to the audiobook of The Hobbit. And I loved it. I thought that was such a good way to finish this book. Um, I just, I really liked it. I would listen to it while I was on the treadmill, when I was working out, when I was cleaning the house. If I had some downtime at work, I would listen to it. And I just fell in love with that book. So I definitely want to get more into Tolkien. Now, Lord of the Rings was something that we did read in the fan fantasy class a few years ago as well, but we only got a few like passages. We didn't actually read the, the whole entire book. So The Fellowship of the Rings, I personally picked up. I couldn't make it through. I'm going to be honest. I did not appreciate it at the time that I picked it up. I just really didn't like it. There was too many songs. <sighs> too many songs. I couldn't get through it, but I am going to try to listen to it as an audiobook and see if I can get through it, especially because, again, I was kind of in a reading slump when I started reading it and I didn't appreciate fantasy for what it was. So I am very, very excited to finish this series. I actually, I just, based on how much I liked The Hobbit, I really do think I'm going to like this book. So I'm excited and I'll give you guys my thoughts when I finish it. The next book was actually a recommendation from one of you guys, and it's The Foundling and Other Tales of Prithdain, or Prydain. Am I saying that correctly? Prithdain, Prydain? I looked this up on Amazon, and it was different spellings, like, everywhere. So, I think it's Prithdain. If it's Prydain, I apologize. But one of you guys actually recommended me reading this. It's like the tales... I think of what happens after the last book of that series and you guys know how much I love that series. It's actually one of um, the books that kind of started this channel and kind of started my following so I definitely think I need to continue 
and see what else happens. The next book I just had, where did it go? Okay, I just had this book, but I don't know where it went, but it's The Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. I actually started reading this a few months ago, and I'm about a couple chapters in. I'm really enjoying the book, but I thought I would put it away because I'm reading Sunshine right now, and I want to get through that. I'm almost done with it. And then I will be picking up Ship of Magic and finishing that series, but I cannot wait to read this book. I'm a couple chapters in, and I have been loving it. So that is one of the other ones I would like to finish. Another book I want to read is called The Nutcracker. I'm sure everyone knows about this and kind of knows the tale, but apparently it's like a really short book and I didn't know it was actually a novel or a poem or I think it's just a, like a short story. And I thought that would be a good Christmas read. It's a little bit too close for me to read it right now and I want to focus on some other books. But next year, I do want to read The Nutcracker. So that is going to conclude this video. Let me know in the comments down below what books you think I should read in 2023 or what books you guys are most excited to read in 2023. I know that there were a lot of rereads on this and, you know, books I've started but I haven't finished. But these are books I've wanted to be finishing and I just need to prioritize it in 2023. So I'll see you guys in my next one and bye. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.